The cosmos are now converging to a center point now, in which your entire universe will be able to no longer go back into the lower dimensional state of existing in fear, and will no longer support any life forms that exist in these states of fear, as pure harmony and peacefulness is here now to be embraced by your will. We of the angelic realms as the Galactic Federation of Light are making sure to bring you more updates about Ascension, as we daily perform a role for you through our guidance through these words, and through the many connections that you, as a star seed, as a light worker carry as divine in nature. The dimensional shift that you bring forth, when you focus on the strength inside of you, that knows only pure abundance, that side of you that is who you truly are. A divine being of light, is where you emerge into unity consciousness. The next step, is to realize where the fake reality has been in, it has been in the personality, in the divisions that each soul makes possible, by your choice to see we of your family of light as invaders, as strangers, that just popped out of nowhere, here to run your world for you. No, as you can sense by now, we see many of you starseeds, and light workers, holding on to belief systems, that we are here to transform your world for you, when you have come here to perform this role. It is similar to feeling as if we will run the marathon that you have signed up, for so you sit back, talk about how much of a great accomplishment it is, and how great it will be to be finally over and we see many of you simply sitting back on the sidelines. Does this make sense to you now, to complete the mission you came here to, who have come here to work for the light, not to feel you are here to shift your attention to us, of your family from the stars to complete this for you? Those that are here, that tell you that ascension is not happening, are clearly existing in duality. And why do some of you choose to invest in feeling that these truths that such souls hold onto are a reality of some sort? It is the realms of illusion that a soul holds onto when they are not aware of ascension and what it brings into your world as your ability to not know. Meaning, when you are asked by humanity, what does ascension mean? How does it affect your own soul? And you respond saying, I don't know then you are choosing to exist in fear. Do you see that when you do not know something, that is when fear is allowed to come into being? Similarly, when you say, when we arrive of your family of light, why are you here? Are you here to invade our planet? Then you are then existing more in fear, as if we have not been informing you about why we are here during this time for many years now? No. You can clearly sense by now, that you are here to know why we are here, and you cannot know why we are here, when you trust the ego, that does not know anything for sure. There is much for us, as your family of light, that we have to offer you, as a light worker, as a star seed, as you then accept your mission here, to then exist in peace, by your choice. Peace is not an outer thing not an outer experience, meaning, when you feel, that as a worker for the light, that you need to focus on judgments, when confronted with chaos in your outer reality, then you are looking to be at peace in your outer environment. This is why many of you star seeds, and light workers are now starting to exist in panic of not ascending, of the three days of darkness, of the shift in your world that is cosmically shifting it into higher dimensional energies. These are all changes that originate within, meaning how you connect with these truths, is all from your choice to either intuitively know what is going on, or to still feel the mind will somehow lead you to the truth. The blockages that you experience, when you exist in criticisms, and judgments are stopping you from ascending, as what is happening is those souls that are ascending, are practicing detachment from fear now, and releasing the dense vibrations now, as the door of the old energy closes, and the new one enters. This means, those souls still holding on to the ego-centered living will soon not be able to ascend in this lifetime anymore, 
once all of the economic collapses happen, once all of the truths about your true history come out, while those souls that choose to ascend are already in a state of consistent peace and harmony now. There is not much time left at all to accomplish ascension in this lifetime, similarly to when you watch a show, and when that show is over, it is done, and sure there are replays of that show, and in this case, it will not be for thousands of years in linear time. Similar to a lock, and key, you have the key within you, and the lock, is the ego attachment, and while you are still chasing after changes to take place on your outer environment, then these inner changes are often overlooked, as being important. Clearly, by now, you are aware of whether you are in peace, or in confusion, and furthering this great transition, as you cannot lie to yourself, as you can sense by now, in this matter. Can you still release the fear, when you trust it so much? Yes, similarly to how you are able to cook something you have never cooked before, as these words are the guidance of the process of how to accomplish this great creation of ascension. Ascending to the higher dimensions is always an internal, energy shift, in which you are no longer depressed, in which you are no longer looking to the mind to create your reality, in which you are then trusting yourself to be pure consciousness, as that being the divine essence that creates your existence. This also means, that you create your reality, as you awaken, then you realize, that you are not the mind. You are not the body, you are a soul source, here to embrace this as true, not as a belief system. Once you feel beliefs will create your reality, then you are existing in the old system of fear, which allows for divisions, in souls that choose to attach to not believing, and believing. These are both based in duality, as you are able to notice this, to rise your own awareness into more light and conscious creations of your own life, always. We of the Galactic Federation of Light, of your angelic guardians are here to then show you, as a star seed, as a light worker, that you have a responsibility to uphold the light, and upholding the light is not in counting down the minutes to December 12th, to December 21st, to January 1st, but these are clearly old patterns of ego-centered living. These are as such, as when you exist as if you are on a linear timeline, then you are choosing to stay with the same old patterns, that have led many generations to existing out of the now moment, and more on either reflection of past, or focusing only on future events, as this moment is where you are able to be divine, always. Do you see why we of your family of light ask that you stop counting the minutes down? to stop feeling that we of your family from the stars, will show up, and remove all souls that are of fear from this earth? No, all souls are from Prime Creator, and this means that we are only here to share our information, and our technology with you, as star seeds, and light workers, so that you can make a choice, either ascend, or reincarnate and continue to exist in the realms where war is still made a reality. Ascending allows you to exist beyond the state of duality, and ascension, as you can sense by now, is an inner energy shift, where you are existing beyond the state of ego attachments, and then embracing the divine nature inside of you. We send you much courage and practice, by your releasing process of duality, we are the angelic realms. We are the Galactic Federation of Light.